Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Batman the Video Game for NES. In the last episode, we were at the Axis Chemical Factory, and we fought off the Mateen Intelligence System, which was securing the building. Took more deaths than I wanted, but I got the job done. And now it appears that we are in the sewers somewhere. So let me get a sip of tea here, and carry on. When I quit the Batarang because of these guys... That guy landed right on me. These guys, if you position yourself just right, they'll just keep jumping over you over and over again. And you can deal with them very easily. Want to be sure you to jump straight up when you get down here, so that way those two explosive things won't hurt you. And we want to make sure that we get rid of the these guys with the boomerang. Those things that are spinning to the sides, those will hurt you. Don't run into them in any way shape or form don't do that either obviously and we want to leap over here with the wall jump get over here good I didn't get close enough yet wait for this guy to jump so that when you jump and you're able to shoot a projectile up there It'll be able to hit him as soon as he comes down. I'm not going to get past this part. Yeah, there's two of those spike tanks and one of those leaping guys. But I have infinite continues from what I've read. This should be good. This should be a little doable. And hey, I got more out of that. Awesome. Get over here. And you're not leaping around me. Jump straight up. Boomerang this man. I got too close. That's why I got hit. Be ready to punch these two spike tanks. Ah. Try not to take too much damage. Let's equip the gun. Get back over here. Perfect. I'm also waiting for this guy to stop flashing too before I ever, I, I ever hit him again too. So that's also a... Oh! He's, de he's dead. Get over there! Pete's sake! And I may have to spam the boomerangs here, but... Well, that's exactly what I had to do. Don't even try to outrun these guys. They'll just follow you forever. Game! Okay, get right over there. Perfect. Woo! Yeah, don't even try to fight the enemies over there. Just rush straight to the exit once you get to that point. And there's a guy who I want to punch. Brilliant. Drop down here. And I also believe you want to drop down. Well, not exactly drop down there. Yeah, that's how you run into the explosive guy. Ah... I wanted to jump onto that, but that didn't happen. But, as long as I can make it to 2-3-3, th three, three, we should be good, I think. And... When you drop down here, you want to drop to the left. That way. Ow. You can be able to take care of these guys no problem. I may have to use... Ah! Uh, I should have just retreated when I had the chance. Oh well. But I believe we have another chance to do things right. So let's go ahead and do just that game. Okay. Equip the batarang. Go right. Ah! Uh, uh, I can never get out of the way of these guys fast enough sometimes. But at least I can slash them real nice with the batarang and just get rid of them just like that. Okay. 
that was a much better thing to do. Get over there. Don't even worry about that other guy. Get over there. Yes, thank you. Oh, boy, this was nasty. And now we got to do a little bit of wall jumping here. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about being cut to ribbons by anything once you get to this point, because you'll now be at 3-3. Three, three. Okay, switch to the fists here. Take out the spike tank. And I tried to jump. I couldn't do it. But at least if I have to continue again, I'll be up here. Okay, let's jump this time. Alright. Now let's switch to the gun. After we take care of that spike track with the boomerang. And we want to be ready... ...to shoot at this tank every time... ...we jump into the air. And of course when the thing has stopped flashing, obviously. Now that we've gotten the tank taken care of, what I can do is use this little spot here as a means of refilling all my stuff. So if I need health, I can get it. If I need ammo for my weapons, I can get it here too. Sometimes you will see one spike tank, and s sometimes you'll see two. Regardless of how many spike tanks you see, you want to take them out from a distance like I'm doing. So that way you don't have to worry about getting hit a whole bunch. And as long as you don't go too far to the left here, you won't have to worry about that fireball shooting tank ever again. Those tanks always shoot their fireballs diagonally. And because of that, they can be a pain in the butt to deal with. Good, 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 good. I still want that one last sliver of health though. So I'm still going to go ahead and farm for it. But... I'm going to keep this in just to show you, hey, you can do this. You can farm stuff here. And if you need to get the spike tank to go, go just a little bit faster, just keep jumping near that wall. And it'll be a little more cooperative. And it would be really cooperative if these enemies would give me hearts. I'll get one eventually. All these pickups are random. And if not, well, I can just can it with this little charade of trying to get my health completely filled up. Because I've got max ammunition here. I can still do this. I can still just pr do, do this pretty easily. I'll do this one more time, and then I'll just go ahead and continue on. There we go. Ah! Well, alright. Might as well take care of this guy with the Batarang. Because why not? And I know that there is Are you coming back? I think you are. I'm going to duck down and just use this weapon. Just be safe. Oh, I off-screened you. That's even better. That means I can fight you off. Go all the way to this edge. Duck down. Shoot at this thing while it is moving backwards. Repeat until dead. Lost only one unit of health, but you know what? I will take that. And got that unit of health back. Excellent. I'll go ahead and shoot you with the gun. Get rid of this explosive with the Batarang. And then switch the fists and try to punch this guy out before he hits me. Thankfully, I managed to do that quite well. Want to just walk past the guy that is shooting, or rather the thing up there that is shooting the drones. And then wall kick our way up here. Get rid of this guy. Ah. 
Okay. Left wall. Right wall. Nah. Good. Those spinning things, those spinning gears, you do not want to run into them. And you want to alternate between short hops and long hops just to make sure you don't hit them unintentionally. I should have done that from the right. Unnecessary damage being taken here. Great job. Um, ow. Really even more unnecessary damage being taken, but you know what? I'll be able to deal with this. And why am I waiting? As long as I don't jump while this guy is right in front of me, this tank, I won't have to worry about getting hit. Just stay near the wall. Shoot at this thing when it's moving backwards. Don't be in the air when it's straight in front of you. And we're at the goal now. So now, I'm going to get up here. When he jumps, I jump. That was a dumb idea. And I want to time the next jump so that I'm on the wall when he jumps. Ooh, he's facing me now. Sometimes he'll face me up just automatically. Sometimes he won't. It's just kind of dependent on my timing. But I do want to hit this guy with the gun. Ooh. And I mistimed that one, but you know what? I got plenty of health. I'm going to be pretty silent for, for many, much most of this, because this takes a lot of concentration. So if I don't speak a whole lot here, I apologize. Just watch what I'm doing. The only thing you need to worry about is getting the timing down for this, but once you do... This is a swell battle. And kind of fun, too. If you run out of ammo, you will have to punch this guy. But thankfully, as long as you're pretty much close to the center, but not directly on the center of the platform, you won't have to do it. I've seen alternate strategies that use both platforms. That was some terrible timing. That was how I did it with my practice run. But then I found out, wait a minute, you can just use one platform here. And it'll do it. You definitely don't want to be on the ground with this guy. He will cut you to shreds if you try. I may use boomerangs. Not sure. I'll just go ahead and use stick to the gun for now. But if I do have the punch him, I will do it. Oh, he's facing me now. I feel like I can do more damage on average with the gun. Placement is everything with the batarangs. As you can probably tell, this guy takes a lot of shots to kill. And yeah, I think it's better if I just stayed silent for all this because concentration and not much to talk about.
He'll go down eventually. He will go down one of these days. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Pow. Right in the kisser. Does anyone watch the Honeymooners anymore? Uh, timing was awful there. I may have to get some punches in. And I shot too early, but he left right into it anyway. Alright, we got 27 shots left. You may have heard that burp, I apologize. Well, it really wasn't, wasn't much of a burp, just some weird draining sound in my throat there. That sounded like a burp trying to come out, but didn't. Ultimately, and there's 21 shots left. Oh boy! Whoa! Um, how did I avoid that? I did not know he was facing right. That totally threw me off my game. Now I'm definitely gonna have to punch him. I did more damage to him than I thought I did. Cool. Well, he did come in with a lot of ammo. But anyway, we have the cutscene of Joker down at the museum. And we are now in stage 4-1. But that will have to wait until the next video. And wow, I'm going to have to continue again in the next video. Yikes. But we're getting pretty close to the end. It's just this stage and the next. Yikes. Ooh, where was I? Right. Join me next time when we go through stage four, which I'm assuming is the museum. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the Joker's Lair. I don't know, really know where this is. But we're going to get through it in the next video. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!